our warlock is moving down a seemingly normal city street when they arrive at the vacant lot. They glance up and down the street quickly to make sure no one is looking, and then they speak the secret incantation that opens a portal into a hidden room where they quickly duck inside and begin performing whatever secret rites they need to do. And then, when they're done, they leave the room, speak the words of dismissal, and the room vanishes. Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're going to see how to make rooms appear on your maps complete with dynamic lighting lines. But note that we are going to be using mods to do this, so you will need a pro account to do what I'm about to show you. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So in order to achieve this effect, we're going to use two mods. The first is Token Mod, which comes to us from the arcane scriptomancer himself, the Aaron. And Token Mod is what's going to allow the room to appear on the map. And the second mod that we're going to use is called Move Lighting, which comes to us from Luke Leclerc. And Move Lighting, you guessed it, is going to allow the dynamic lighting walls to automatically appear. So once you've got both these mods installed in your game, we're ready to dive in. Let's start out with the map portion of things. Right now, I have two copies of the same map. One copy of the map does not have a building in this area right here, and the other does. And so right now, I've got both copies of the map on the map layer. I just have them layered one on top of the other. If I right-click on the map layer right now and say to back, it's going to send the copy that's currently up front to the back and bring the one that's in the back to the front. So the one that's in the back is the one that has the hidden room in it. What I'm going to do is take this copy of the map that has the hidden room, and I'm going to put that onto the GM layer. Now, real quick aside here, you could have just an image of the room that you want to appear. That would work totally fine. I just happen to have other plans for what's going on on this map, so I do need a whole separate copy of the map to do what I'm planning, but that's all outside the scope of this video. Just know that if you have an image of the room that you want to appear, put that on the GM layer, and that'll work totally fine too. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do is jump back to the GM layer, and we're going to click on this map that we've just moved onto the GM layer. And we're going to run the following command in chat, and that command is going to be at selected token ID. So if I grab this, again, we have the map selected in Roll20. We're going to paste in this command, and we get back this alphanumeric string that starts with a dash. This is the ID of the map image itself, and we're going to need this ID for the next part of what we're doing. So what are we doing? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to run a token mod command to set that image onto the map layer. And so the command for that is going to look like this, exclamation point token mod, so we're calling token mod, and we are setting the layer for the specified item to the map layer. And then we're calling order to front because we want this item that we're moving to be on the top level of the map layer. That way we're going to make sure that it is showing properly when we move. And then this last parameter, IDs, we're going to grab this ID that we just got back, copy it, and paste it right here. And make sure that you get the dash at the beginning of this. That's really important. So we're going to move that map from the GM layer to the top level of the map layer. And let's just test this out real quick. All right, so I'm going to paste in my command, run it. And there we go. It's been moved to the top level of the map layer. All right, so now what we want to do is set up the dynamic lighting walls. I'm still on the GM layer, and what I'm going to do is stay on the GM layer. I'm going to grab my draw tool, and I'm going to go to Polygon. And what I'm going to do is draw in the lines that I would have for the dynamic lighting layer. And I'm going to try and do this all as one single object, rather than having individual dynamic lighting lines. So I'm going through, and this is all one item right now. I'm going to right-click to complete it. And now what we're going to do is switch back to the Select tool, we're going to highlight the dynamic lighting object that we just drew, and we're going to run that selected token ID command again. And that's going to give us back a new ID that represents the dynamic lighting object that we just created. And we're going to use that ID in the next command here, which is going to look like this. So exclamation point move light is going to move a dynamic lighting object to a specific layer. So we're going to say move the dynamic lighting object to the walls layer. That's the dynamic lighting layer. 
And what we're moving is this object right here that's represented by this ID. So I'm going to copy that, paste it in here. And now if I run this command, we'll see the lines move from the GM layer and they vanish. But now if we go to the lighting layer, there they are. So token mod will move the image of the room to the map layer. Move light moves the dynamic lighting walls from the GM layer to the dynamic lighting layer. And so now what we can do is create a macro. So if we come in here, create a macro, and I'm just going to call this room up here, I'm being very creative. And I'm just going to take those two commands that we ran earlier, copy them and paste them in here. And now I'll be able to make this room appear whenever I want. Now, if you want to make the room disappear, then the commands are going to be very similar to what we did earlier. It's just we're changing what layer we're moving things to. So what I'll do is I'll just copy these two lines right here. And we're going to change this token mod line to set layer GM layer. And then we don't need the order to front command anymore. So it's just going to look like this. And then move light will be to the GM layer rather than walls. So now if I copy these, and I'm actually going to run both of them together, like so. And we can see now that the dynamic lighting walls have moved to the GM layer. There they are. And that map has moved to the GM layer as well. And so the player won't be able to see them. We can come in here again, we can run our room appear macro. And now the hidden room has reappeared complete with dynamic lighting walls. So there you have it. That's how you can make rooms complete with dynamic lighting walls automatically appear on your maps in Roll20. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.